How's everybody doing? Okay? You good? Wonderful. It's good to see some familiar faces. Hello. 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 <laughs> so, um, yeah, without further ado, we have um, Eric from the SoundCloud here. He's going to talk a little bit about SoundCloud. How many of you use SoundCloud? Yeah? Good. Huh? There's some stats for you there. So that's fine. Um, yes. <laughs> Um, and yeah, it's going to let him, it's a very open conversation, he's going to talk about SoundCloud um, now and the future and um, obviously if you've got any questions about SoundCloud, anything whatsoever, now's the time to ask Eric. Um, without further ado, Eric Wolfos. All right. Cool. Excellent to be here. And we were just saying that actually when we met the first time was 10 years ago in London, and uh, I actually went to one of the CDR events back then already. I was producing music. I'm still producing music. And uh, that was really a super inspiring event. And yeah, so it's really great to be here now today. Tony, you already asked how many people are using SoundCloud. It started out really, really small. And basically me inviting, I mean, I remember sending you an email trying to invite you, and it took a while. I turned you down, didn't I? Yeah, yeah the first time it was like, oh, shit, he hasn't <laughs> used it yet. <laughs> Tried to get, get you on there. Um, and that was really hard work, like in the beginning, trying to just invite people. But, but, but the weird thing is at a certain point, it just started to kind of go like that exponentially. And six million people doing cool stuff on SoundCloud right now. So it's quite a big big community. And where, the, where do you think most of the adoption comes from? Is it from using um, integration with third-party apps or is it just generally producers like CDR? The most valuable signups, I think, are guys like you. I mean, basically, people who really seriously create, you know, music or sound. And that's, you know, that's sort of our core, core group. Um, the, the makeup of the signups is, in the meantime, quite a, a like wide range of different things or different channels that people come in through. SoundCloud is, uh, uh, as I mentioned, it's, it's, it's just a way to get your sounds out there. So, uh, you know, we, we are we're helping people innovate around how they release music, right? So there's all these different ways in which you can actually get your music out there and we try to make it very flexible. You can get it onto your, your site, you can get it on, on all sort of the social, the major social networks that exist. Um, you can do stuff like um, service the, the press or do PR around your release um, that you've done. You can do like marketing campaign. And we also have a bunch of apps. So bunch of like music creation apps and also music sort of distribution apps that connect with SoundCloud so we integrate in various ways and on top of that you have like a bunch of statistics so you can track what's going on with with the stuff you put out there yeah yeah so so actually that's and that's actually like basically our business model as well is SoundCloud is a freemium service which means you can use it for free uh, but there are a few premium features that we basically charge money for. And this thing, if you want to use the artwork player and the minimalist player, you basically have to pay 29 euros per year. So that, that is like the cost of using the service with, with this. So here is, a, uh, here is a bit of how you can sort of use SoundCloud if you do, uh, you know, if you actually, you know, make music and you want to service that to let's say bloggers so on soundcloudlabs.com you can go here and then you can set up like a like a share to unlock sort of campaign so if you want to release something and you let's say release it on your twitter account or something like that you can you can let people know that if they reshare this uh, they can listen to it and here's another similar thing is like if you want to premiere uh, let's say a new release um, and you want to make like a dedicated landing page there is a quite a slick integration called premiere that allows you to just put like your album front and center let's say and you get you get also the social aspects you get the time comments you get everything there and you get like tweet and like buttons and a nice background and stuff um, email for download, sort of a, a different spin on the similar similar thing, right? So it's you know it's always valuable to have email addresses like to promote your upcoming gigs, your upcoming releases, and so on. So here it's uh, it's a way to to 
to say uh, if you put in your email address uh, then then um, you can listen or like maybe you get a preview and then if you put in your email you get the full thing for example or you get a download you know once your stuff is up there you want to have it on on facebook hype machine uh, you know maybe you want to have your own sort of private or, or or your own site like a a nice url for for your act uh, and maybe you don't know how to build a website yourself, so then you can use stuff like flavors, for example. You get like a really nice sort of landing page uh, where it's very easy to get your sound on there uh, with, with SoundCloud. Uh, Verb is another tool for building sites, which is actually really nice. A mobile roadie, I should mention as well. I think I have it on here as well. Oh, so, well, anyway, mobile roadie is a way to make an iPhone app or like an Android app, I think, for your, for your release. Uh, and yeah, and then on top of that, there is the stats part. So you basically, you can track like all, all over the web. You can basically see where your music is playing. Actually, the Berliner Philharmonie just released today uh, a remix contest around uh, Mahler. And I just heard some techno, re techno remix around Mahler. <laughs> it was quite fun. So yeah, and, and you can set up a remix contest as well. It's very easy to, to, like, to actually do that with the tools we have. That was all I had from sort of the more pitchy marketing Wonderful. side. We can uh, go ahead. On what, if you just wait for the microphone, hold on. Thank you. Okay. Um, SoundCloud right now is very useful for sharing sounds, but um, if you, if you're looking for honest feedback and and useful feedback on on mixing and so on, it's uh, it's a bit difficult because the streaming is all in uh, 128 um, kbps. So, are there any plans to um, Go at higher bit rates. We've sort of reached a conclusion that for now, you know, that's maybe subject to change. But for now, it's it's a it's a reasonable trade-off to have, you know, to, to make it possible to upload, you know, in in uncompressed size, you can upload in whatever file size you want, like very high resolution files. And if you really need that detailed feedback, then the user would have to download the the original. Um, that said, I mean, it's something I'm, I'm personally obsessing about as well, and I really would want it to be like as good as it could be and as pro it could get. But it gets challenging as well, given how, how much data we have there in the meantime. Like, there's very, very, a lot of audio on there. Eric, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. Round of applause for Eric, Eric please.